Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Chris Lee of United Destiny Entertainment. Uh, I'm just messing around with Logic right now with one of my own projects. Uh, I made a beat. It's not done yet, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit of it. And what I did was um, I just did like a test vocal uh, over the beat. And I pretty much just want to show you guys uh, some things in Logic real quick. Nothing too much. Just uh, pretty much try to get you guys a head start on being able to use this program. So check it out. Now here's my beat. I use software instruments and I use the instruments inside of uh, Logic. I hadn't compressed them, EQ'd them, or did any of that stuff yet. But uh, check it out. So the first thing is double clicking the track will open up the piano roll and here I see that I have a note that I don't want so I just click around it with the um, mouse I'm using my pointer tool um, what you can do if your mouse for some odd reason don't work that will be kind of odd uh, if it don't work then what you can do is hit escape and once you hit escape you can hold down command and when you hold down command uh, they have different tools in here that you can actually use uh, it's one specific one that I'm looking for but it's up here at the top so I mean what you can do only when you're in this window uh, this is switching to the if you hold down command it'll switch down switch over to the actual tool that you want to use and this obviously don't have the one that I want this is the one up here. It's called the marquee tool that I want. Um, but anyways, when you're in this window, say if I hold command up here, it switches to the marquee tool, which allow you to, you know, select certain selections or whatever that you might want. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to click on here and delete that because that's a, a note that I don't want. Basically, what the, what's useful about this piano roll is you can come in here and save your instruments uh, or whatever your notes that you play don't drag mm -hmm. out enough for the way that you want them to you can actually come in here and fix them uh, and I mean they they have snap tools mm -hmm. that you can use snap grids that you can use I just like to to do it this way because I like to be able to to shorten them and put them whatever mm -hmm. length that I want them uh, to kind of keep the groove of the music going and that's just how I operate um, so that's what I'm doing right now is I'm just going in and I'm pretty much doing that. Now, I'm not going to waste the whole time on this video showing you guys how to do this. You pretty much get the point. What you do in order to um, actually make this thing work is you take your pointer tool and you point directly to the edge of it. And this is almost like a trim tool. It would be like a trim tool in Pro Tools. Uh, it would extend or shorten it however much you wanted to. So that's pretty much uh, all I use that for. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and play it. Okay, now, I'm not going to talk too much on that. I'm going to just let you hear the rest of the instruments. The next thing I added was a string. Okay, now I'm not going to show you too much on that. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and just start playing what I got so far. Like I said, I hadn't put any uh, compressors or uh, EQs or anything as far as the instruments go. And this is what it sounds like. <laughs> So that's pretty much it. So I'm going to hold, hold down option and I'm going to click the solo button to unsolo everything. Um, next thing, what I did was I did a little test vocal. Uh, now I know a lot of you guys are going to ask me what kind of mic and stuff that I use. Um, I have a lot of different mics, uh, interfaces and stuff like that. But for this particular uh, project, 
I actually used the uh, Sterling Audio ST69. I used the uh, M Audio Fast Track Ultra Interface. Um, I also used the Pro Channel uh, Professional 2 microphone preamplifier uh, from R2. Um, and that's pretty much it. The rest was all plug in. So this is a little test vocal what I did. And I'm going to go to the mix window to show you what I did. So after I recorded the actual vocal, let me double click right here, uh, right here in the EQ box. I pretty much set up like a male EQ. Uh, this is, I mean, if you understand what, what EQs and stuff do, this is pretty much pretty uh, uh, self-explanatory. But um, I have a real deep voice. So um, what I did was I cut some of the low end, um, about 95 hertz, and that's, that's kind of make my vocals a little bit brighter. Usually, I'll come up to about 5K and higher and uh, be able to boost some of my highs to make my vocals just a tad bit brighter, but I'm not going to do that for today. Um, what I did was I also created a, a bus track, or in other words, an aux track. And what I put on there was an API. I have the Waze plugin, so... Uh, I have an API 560 um, on here on my vocals. I just boosted a little bit of my highs between uh, 4K and 16K. I boosted them a little bit. And for my low end, between 125 hertz, I actually cut some. So that's pretty much what I did with that. Um, as far as the reverb, I went in and I used, this is a platinum verb inside of Logic. I also put that in my effects chain. Um, I mean, it's a nice reverb. Don't, I mean, they have a bunch of presets and stuff that you can actually use, but I'm more of a person I like to to determine and do what I need to do to get my own sound. So I like to set the presets to default and just go in and do my own thing with it. Um, and I also added another EQ on an actual verb, Oxen. Uh, I'll explain a little bit about that more later in other videos, but right now I'm not. And what I did was for the actual master out track, I just put a um, Waves LE Ultra um, Maximizer plug-in. It's a really good plug-in. I set the ceiling to negative one. And um, I pretty much just adjusted my vocal some. And here where it says bus, I'm going to show you exactly what you would do. So if you have like an aux, an actual vocal track or whatever, and you have an aux track set up, then you would click it, left click it, hold it down, go to bus, and then you will click whatever bus you want. Now you can either click the knob, hold it, and drag it, the numbers like this, up and down. Or if you wanted to just go to zero, you just hold down option and click it. So that's that's how you would get your actual ascends or effects into your actual channel that you wanted in. But I'm not going to do it on any instruments right now. I can just to show you, but I'm going to go ahead and play this and let you check it out. This is just a, a, a verse that I wrote. It's nothing. Um, I'm not in here recording. I'm just getting here more proficient for um, my advanced logic certification. So check it out. I know, I know. I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and that's for sure. I know, I know. I know, I know. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if you're hurting me. Cause I'ma make it known that I'm Chris Lee One of the realest in the game and you know I stay live And I promise you would never ever murder me Huh, sick flow that'll make you hurl I got swag that's out of this world I don't need no bitch, don't chase no hoe And my money is my only girl New time in the new year New era, I'm in the new field Leaving buzz like a light bill You will never see me dim again Cause I shine like a chandelier My dream really ain't dreams My team really ain't teens My skill ain't comprehendable Surpasses supernatural pluses live so pretty much there it is there you have it um if i was actually tracking this song out i would of course have more vocals um singing rapping harmonies the whole nine yards edits delays radio effects whatever you want to do uh just to even show you that if you want to hear like a little quick radio effect let me go into my vocal track and i'm gonna go ahead and click this drop down and I'm gonna click save set and ass, and I'm gonna just put a Chris Lee, C Lee tutorial 
so I don't lose it. But pretty much to get like a radio effect for me, what I would do is, let's see. I know, I know, I know, I know, yeah. <laughs> and that's for sure. I, I would actually, uh, let's see if I can use this one. Let me go, let me take it to, um, let's, let's go to a default setting real quick. I would take the lows and I would drop them a lot. And um, I would take these highs and boost them a lot. Um, take this down some. I know, I know. I know, I know. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if you're hurting me. Cause I'ma make it known that I'm Chris Lee One of the realest in the game and you know I stay live And I promise you would never ever murder me Huh, sick flow that'll make you hurl I got swag that's out of this world I don't need no bitch, don't chase this, And this is me just pretty much doing Not just radio effect stuff This is just doing like Different stuff to give you like the kind of telephone effect. It's no hope and my money is my only girl New time in the new year New era, I'm in the new feel Leaving buzz like a light bill and I'm just actually showing you guys what sweeping can do. You will never see me dim again because I shine like a chandelier. My dream really ain't dreams. My team really ain't teens. My skill ain't comprehensible. Surpasses supernatural pluses. Let go. So, I mean, if that didn't give you a general idea of how EQs work, then I really don't know what to tell you. Uh, now, I could give you the, the, the professional and technical term of EQ, but like I said, this is not a video of me explaining stuff like that this is just a video of me showing you guys uh, how some of this stuff work so yeah there you have it um you don't necessarily need waves plugins to make your music sound good logic pro tools all these different programs definitely got a, a wonderful presets that you can use so yeah i hope this video was uh, a bit entertaining for you i know it's not much but if you want to see some entertaining just make sure uh to check out my other videos and We'll go from there. Stay tuned.